Hello, welcome back to another video on Vedic Astrology. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a person, a very famous scientist called Bill Nye. I would like to refer to him as Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy's birthday falls on November 27, 1955. And that makes him a Sagittarius by definition. Because according to the popular sun sign method, all the people born from November 22nd to December 21 belong to the sun sign Sagittarius. So Bill Nye, the science guy, grew up in this world thinking that he is a Sagittarian. He did not know that he was fooled into believing that. Indian astrologers know very well that his sun sign is Scorpio. At this point, you have to stop here and watch the video on Bill Nye on astrology and then come back to this video if you wish to understand my point. What you have to do is just type Bill Nye on astrology. It's quite popular. That's the reason why I decided to do this video. So um, let's say I click here. I'm showing you this video so that you don't make a mistake on this. In the video he says, so now on my birthday, the sun rises in Scorpio, not Sagittarius. He thinks that this is the first time someone has come across this mistake. And then he goes on to say, so you have to be a Capricorn to be a Sagittarius and Scorpios would have to be Librans. Astrologers are of one full sign. In 2000 more years, they will be of two signs. But they don't seem to care. So in this reflective moment, I asked myself, am I a fun-loving Sagittarius or a sexy Scorpio? Well, here's my answer. Mr. Bill is a sexy Scorpio. How? Let's move on to Jagannatha Hora. So let's click Jagannatha Hora and uh, select Bill Nye. If you, if you look here, Bill Nye's date of birth is November 27, 1955. The time doesn't matter. So whenever you don't know the time, you always put it as noon time because this is not so, here we are not so particular about the ascendant. Is everything because here we are discussing only the sun sign. So keep your eyes on the Rashi chart, the two letters SU here, which represents the sun. And the sun is in the sign called Scorpio and it is not in Sagittarius. Sagittarius over here where Venus is. So the Indian horoscopes always show the correct sun sign. So if you want to know where your sun, sun is or if you want to really know your sun sign, then you will have to use it use only the Indian chart. So how is this possible in Indian astrology? The reason for this is there is something called the Ayanamsa, the wobble of the earth as Bill Nye points out that is known to Indian astrologers long long time ago. So let's go to preferences and again you will see here related to calculations Ayanamsa. So you go to Ayanamsa and if you see here, Lahiri or traditional Lahiri is there. But if you go down to the last one, tropical, and if you click that and then say OK, then you can see the entire planets, all of them shift one sign forward. So here on the same date of birth, November 27, 1955, you will see the sun in Sagittarius. This is the wrong sun sign. This is the complaint of Bill Nye because all over the world authors like Linda Goodman have made sun sign so famous that most people in the world think that sun sign, their astrology is only sun sign. And so when you see, when you hear people discrediting astrology, it's normally they're referring to the sun sign alone and not to the Vedic astrology chart, which is so full of calculations so many calculations, so many rules, so many formulas and all that has been hit because the western people thought that astrology means only sun sign. So here you will see the sun is in Sagittarius whereas if you put back the Ayanamsa, go back, select the Ayanamsa and then uh, True Lahiri or Chitrapaksha Ayanamsa, whichever Ayanamsa you want, fine. And if you go down, 
you will see here INMs are 23 degrees 13 minutes so the earth has tilted 23 degrees 13 minutes which was as on 1955 according to Lahiri INMs so it's very important that if you are reading a sun sign book the observation of each sign is all right it's not it's not so bad but before reading it do not use the regular sun sign grouping method feed in your date of birth and then uh, use an anamsa like lahiri anamsa and then find out where the sun is in your rashi chart so this where the moon is here this particular portion is called aries then taurus gemini and so on just look out for where the sun is so in this chart you will see the sun is in scorpio and so bill nye is truly a sexy scorpio <laughs>